Oh, no, it worked. All right, cool. Cool. Uh, also, wait a minute. I just realized something. Where is my... Uh... That's not it. Where's this thing at? Uh, I have a title that's supposed to go above my name. Where is it at? Where'd it go? What? Hello? Oh, that's right. Because I moved its folder. So it's not... Okay, you need to calm down, Windows. <laughs> I moved its folder, so it moved the asset. Where is it at? It's in my thumbnail stuff file. Come on. Where's my name? Say my name, say my name. Say my name, say my name. Where is it? I have like eight files in here. Come on. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Bam. Yeah, right where it's supposed to be. Like, what the... <laughs> oh. Let me just... Perfect. All right, cool. Anyway, we're back at it. Also, one more thing. Holy cow. I'm, I'm just a guy. I have one more thing to do. Uh, someone followed while I wasn't stream. Two people did, so I'll do. I'll just redo the things. So here's one. Bibbidi bobbidi. Uh, GLX Righteous Seven, and then the other one is uh. Come on. There it is. <laughs> uh, pizza cookie Leto. Thank you all too for following. Anyways, let's get back to the game. So, last time we uh, we found out a lot of nonsense, a lot of stuff with Zip was happening, and we also found up a deeper thing that, uh, um, what's his name, has a twin Honestly, who's here in the insane asylum. We're already back in it. This, ooh, just like a horror movie. Ooh. I was thinking the same. And so was I. This can be deceiving. Let's hope so. <laughs> All right, well, we got cracked out resident over here. This guy seems strangely familiar to me. You don't say. You've been treated here, too. That would explain a lot. Thank you, man. Oh, don't be stupid. I'm serious. Take a closer look. No. Well? No, it can't be. Are you telling me it's him? M.B. Davis himself? I'm sure of it, pal. Jesus. It seems the gossip was true. The eternal king of jazz in a madhouse. Jazz is back oh, at the madhouse. Oh, no, no. Poor devil. Poor devil. Poor devil indeed. Look at this man, man. <laughs> Look at that eye. He's so it's Oh, he shakes. Oh, he does like he does not like being shaken and stirred. Um also wait a minute. I just want to plug something real quickly. For all you YouTubers out there, or not YouTubers, all those people on YouTube and or on the this, you should also go. Subscribe and turn notifications on my YouTube channel. Dab dab. All right. All right. All right. All right. Enough, enough, enough doing everything but streaming. Let's talk to this woman. Oh, we can't even see her head. <laughs> it's really like back in the old days. Is it really you? Well, uh, yes. Yes, it really is. It really is the trick and police. police. I'm afraid so. <laughs> Of all that's furry and plumy, that's fantastic. Oh, she is a oh fan. Maybe, uh, uh miss, we'd too... like to ask. Please, don't be scared. I'm just really, really, really excited. You know, I've read every book about you and your adventures. And oh, did I you know? I collected newspaper articles when I was a little girl. Indeed. You can't imagine what an honor it is to meet you in person. We really so she's nuts, right? Oh God, oh God, oh God. Good thing take she's in an breath, institute. Miranda, take a deep breath. Watch her not be the Are real nurse. Okay, <laughs> yes, I am. I just needed some air. So, dear detectives, Santino yes. and Martin, what can I do? Jesus for Christ, you? can you talk well, like a person? Uh, we have some questions. Or giraffe? If you don't mind. I'd love to answer all of your questions, detectives. I, I bet you would like to answer all of our questions. All right, people, where is she at? Where is this nut at? Right there, the nurse. Just nurse. It doesn't even have her name. Oh, there it is. Uh, she's a big fan of us, unfortunately. What is this stuff? An overly nice nurse we met behind the desk at the asylum. 
Her name is Miranda, and she's an embarrassing huge fan. Okay, cool. So all this stuff we already know. All right, can I question you? Yes. Let's see. The hey, asylum. Miss, uh, what can you tell us about this place? Our institution was standing even before the Great Meat War, and during the war, it was transformed into a military hospital. Since then, we are relentlessly working on treating injured minds under the leadership of Dr. Quetzal, the Quetzal. famous specialist. The snake? The seems pretty empty. How did I fucking nail the me? Work here? We have 32 residents and 7 nurses, including me. We also have a three-person maintenance and cleaning staff, and, of course, the heart and soul of our institution, Dr. Dr. Quetzal, Quetzal himself. himself. I see. Now, this Dr. Quetzal, is he the director here? Exactly. Director, scientist, researcher, patron, and doctor. And even a friend. Quite a guy. Mm. He certainly is. Mm. Why is everybody so? Why is she such have a hard on for everybody? So, also Quetzalcoatl. I only knew that because of Smite, because there's a character who is a snake dragon, and he's a snake. So, so who is this Doctor Quetzal exactly? One of that Spanish he's for snake. He's a world famous researcher of the mind, Mr. Featherland. He published countless books in the fields of psychology and psychotherapy. Psycho, what? Psycho what? the mind. It's the most crucial mission of the century, Mr. McChicken. That's really good to know. So this doctor's some celebrity, right? Does he usually meet uh, other important persons? I'm not sure I know what you mean. Well, like oh. uh, Mr. Hobart Wessler, for example. Ah, yes. That's something you should ask the doctor himself, but... Unfortunately, I don't think he has time right you now. You think? Come on now. He's swamped, is he? Exactly, Mr. Featherland. He is very, very, very busy. All the time. I thought so. Hmm. Shit. Uh, what can you say about this, miss? Have you uh, seen anything like it? Of course. Our residents wear these for identification. But how did you come by it? They only wear them inside the institution. Mm, cool. oh, one got out. I see. The wristband does belong to one of our residents. But I'm afraid I'm not allowed to tell you more due to regulations. Oh, what? Come, come on, on. we're cops. It's us, the chicken police. I'm sorry, I, I can't. Oh, she's really Miranda, being torn up. This case is a matter of life and death. Lives are in your hands. <sighs> All right. All right, I'll do it. Albert Wessler. The patient's name mm. is Albert. Tavis we already knew that. We, well, we suspected that. Figures, just as we thought. Just as we Thank thought. You, Meh. We'll never forget this. Please, don't make me blush. We might forget and this. Don't tell anyone you heard it from me. We could forget oh, this. Oh, we won't. I promise. All right. So when How was Albert Wessler? Mr. Wessler. Wesley. I need to ask Dr. Quetzal. Please wait here. All right. Thank you. Skippity scap. Oh. That is weird. Oh, God. Okay. Is the king giving porridge to the children? This picture. Well, it must have been made by one of the patients, so it's understandable. It's the handiwork of our director. He's not only a scientist, but he's a great painter, too. I see. Oh. Well, it's lovely to have a hobby. Does right? he got arms? That's right, he's a snake. Buddy. Also, didn't we see a snake in one of the scenes when we got busted up? Didn't it, like, eat someone's head? Like, were we wrong about that accusation? Or was that just like a... We just got mind fucked. One of the two. Can we just, like... We should go to reception first. We already here. We're here. Okay, can I go upstairs? Dr. Quetzal will see you. Okay, there we go. He's waiting for you in his office. Force it along. Up the stairs, all the way down the hall, until the last door. Ah. What a surprise. It's enough to mention Wessler's name, and all the doors are open. Ah. I wouldn't want to get mixed up in this, but do you think Albert... Whoa, so you think Albert's still here? What do you mean? We haven't heard from him since he disappeared. And oh, shit, JK. They don't even know. I see. 
Uh, we don't know yet, miss, but let's hope for the best. Okay, they made it sound like he was still here. Ones protect him. Where is he? No idea, Marty. The smell ugh, of all that's furry. I'll never get He's used right to there. It. Well, reptiles have a disgusting body. Oh, are body. they? Can they not see well, him because of his exactly chameleon effects? Us. Exactly. Great wild ones! You scared the hell out of me. I already sensed your arrival from afar. You know, snakes have a different sense of. Smell. Oh man! And birds used to be our prey. Yeah, hopefully the used to is still the statement you're making there. Well, yeah. Luckily, we're living in civilized times. Yeah. Lucky. Please take a seat. How can I help you, gentlemen? Well, you can stop talking in S's, but you're a slithering snake, so you ain't gonna stop that. To be honest, gentlemen, your visit is anything but a surprise. I could even say I was expecting it. I bet you were. What an introduction. Yeah. Please Where? Forgive we're a bunch of cool cats, if you couldn't tell. I have the habit of immediately getting into the middle of things. How very rude of me. My name is Dr. Sessius Quetzal. Of course it's a bunch of S's and U's. But most call me Dr. Quetzal to keep it simple. The name is Santino Featherland, and this is my partner, Martin McChicken. From McChicken. From the, from the McDonald's. From the Clawville Police Department. Your fame is one step ahead of you. Oh, is it? Uh, we're used to it. Certainly. I'm not. We have some questions about one of your patients, if you don't you look mind. look at the time? We'd like to talk to him, if that's possible. Please be specific, detective. The S's look, are going to kill me. too tired to play cat and mouse. <laughs> not that snake and chicken sounds any better. Very funny, I must say. Just what I expected from you two, detectives. What did you expect us to you know. it's about Albert be Wessler, thoughtful? Ibn Wessler's secret twin. Ever since we've said his name, all the doors have miraculously opened. That's what we call a bullseye. Well, yes. Why should I deny it? We're talking about a rather illustrious patient here, who's also a very particular medical case. Oh. Now, that's much more interesting. So, are you willing to talk about him? Because Albert, regrettably, has disappeared, and you are police detectives, I have no reason oh, not to that's talk rude. to you. Of course, I'm at your service. But you must understand, I can't disclose information about my patients. Not even if it's a matter of life and death. Everything's a matter of life it is. and death in here, detective. This is a hospital, even if it's primarily for the mind, not the body. Still, mm. I'd like to give the impossible a try. Please, detective, just do your job, and I'll do mine. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I guess we'll try. Let's see. Fucking weirdo. Look at all this shit we got. Oh, well, we haven't, we've uncovered everybody now, so. At this point, it's just wrapping it up and putting the pieces together and learning how everything works. Okay, is anything else I can look at? We'll just talk to Putz Carl. How long was Albert a resident of the institution? For quite some time, his first symptoms surfaced in his teens. Depression, panic attacks, and schizophrenia. Hmm. Was he brought here immediately after the first signs that something wasn't right? You know, the biggest problem with an opinion on insanity is that animals are ashamed of it. That's the reason our institution stands out here in the middle of nowhere. Because animals would rather hide what they're afraid to face. I couldn't have said it better myself. Hmm. As far as I know, the Wessler family wasn't exceptionally wealthy. Indeed, they were rather poor, but we offer our services gratis. Then how do you sustain yourselves? By the grace of the treasury of King Hector III, of course. 
I wouldn't have guessed that. Huh. My family and the royal dynasty had always been on good terms, Mr. Santino. Okay. Huh. What kind of a place is this? It's all wrapped exactly. back up to the king. I assume it wasn't built as about to get shady design. business going on. It used to be a mansion. Construction started during the occupation in 622. Then it stood empty for almost a century until finally it went to the crown of Clawville when Hector's great grandfather took the throne. The rest is history. How long have you been working here? I've worked here for more than 30 years. But it's been in my family's possession for almost 150 years. Oh, Jesus. So if I count correctly, as soon as it went to the crown, it was seized by your family. That's almost accurate, Mr. Featherland. What a lovely inheritance. <laughs> All right. Tell How do you know the crocodilly? Madam Zavos. Just like everybody else, I've heard of her. But I never had the pleasure of meeting her in person. I'm sure she's an interesting case. Oh, you can be sure about that. I'd gladly get you two together if I had the chance. A spare mm. cell would suit her very much. Is that so? As it turns out, she likes small, narrow, secret places. Oh, shit. Oh, I see. What a coincidence. Hmm. Alright. Let's open you up for the line of questioning, shall we? Hmm. Dr. Quetzal's a real mystery. But I can turn that to my advantage. I just need to focus on the strangest pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, like, uh... What the fuck? <laughs> So when did Albert become a resident of your institute? Wish you could see facial expressions. Albert and Hobart, or Ibn as you call him, arrived here almost exactly four years ago. Could you describe that day more specifically? Hmm. It was not long after New Year's Eve. Maybe the first week of the year, if I'm not mistaken. It was sleeting that day. Wind was banging in it's a very specific date he knows. The power was going out for short periods of time. What was your first impression of them? I already knew the Wessler name. I knew who they were. Or at least I knew one of them. Hobart Wessler. He was famous. Gangster, moneylender, oh. celebrity. Lover. And Albert? He was new to me, an invisible gray ghost. The family had tried to keep his existence a secret. Well, it didn't work. Why? Because they were ashamed of him, of course, Mr. Featherland. That's how it usually is. <laughs> what was your first impression of him? He was silent, but observed everything that surrounded him. His eyes were constantly moving, never stopped for a second. Was he afraid? I wouldn't say so. It seemed to me that he wanted to move into our institution voluntarily. Hmm. It looked as if he couldn't wait to be here, alone, locked up in silence and darkness. I wonder if that's so he could play the part from a thought. Unusual? Of course I did. But who am I to judge? It was rather special treatment. What kind of special treatment did Albert get? You know, if an institution like ours has to accept a Wessler as a guest, there's bound to be some mm. favoritism. Mm. And complete secrecy, I guess. Yes, but that's the case for all our patients, Mr. Featherland. Of course. So in what way did he receive more than the others? Basically, we don't admit anyone into our institution without a complete and thorough prior assessment. In the case of Albert, what? We put that aside. So he could have been fine? So you didn't even know if he had anything wrong with him? Initially, no. He was more of a guest than a patient. 
Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Do you think he was a threat to others? He didn't seem like that at first. He was fragile, frail, overwrought. I would have labeled him as a threat to himself, but not to others. And later, when you came to know him better, Albert had certain seizures. We found that out quite soon in that surprisingly <laughs> cold winter. During those times, his personality distorted. He became almost someone else entirely. Almost unrecognizable. Okay. Are you telling me Albert had multiple personalities? We found out very quickly that there was no other reason for the cause of his seizures. He had a cold and calculating personality who sometimes, especially on stormy days, took the reins over their shared mind. He had these seizures from the beginning. Yes, Mr. Featherland, but they started to intensify after Albert left our institution for the first time. He did what? Left the institution? More than once? Mm, oh, suspicious. Yes, Mr. Featherland. Albert left the institution on several occasions until the last time when he failed to come back. Well, we all know why he didn't come back. Very observant, but he's addicted to detail. <laughs> I must focus on that if I want to get closer to the truth. Focus. Addicted to details. Okay. When and why did Albert leave the institution for the first time? Yeah, come on, why'd he walk about out that door? Two years ago, Mr. Hobart Wessler appeared and demanded we let his brother go hmm. free. This is so strange. Actually, we obliged. We had no idea if we'd ever see him again. I guess it would be better if we did. didn't, but he oops. returned the same day. Albert was ecstatic. He was unrestrained. I could almost say <laughs> happy. What? That was unusual for him. I had never seen him like that before, Mr. Featherland. He just smiled and stared at the empty wall for hours. Did he ever tell you what happened to him outside? No, of course he did. Albert and I had a good relationship. He was working on a painting for his brother. He needed to leap for that? A painting of a lovely lady cat. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, exactly. So you already knew about that. Yes, Dr. Quetzal, I've seen it. Oh, snap. Oh, shit, pieces are falling together. Hmm. Come on, camera. Thank you. All right. Has Albert ever talked to you about Fuck, we might have overplayed Natasha. our hand by saying Natasha. Only in superlatives. As if he wasn't talking about a real person, but an ethereal being. About an angel hmm. or a demon. Yeah, Something definitely a demon at times. This world. And what did you think about his uh, fantasies? We are in an institution where almost everyone is hallucinating on a daily basis, Mr. Featherland. It didn't really bother me, but the fluctuations of positive and negative were more... Mm, it's almost as if he's jealous that his brother was dating her. Thanks, Doc. I didn't understand a word, but I think I get the point. Hmm. Let's see. So Albert left on many occasions to continue working on the painting. Exactly, Mr. Featherland. Every time he came back, he was like a different person. But unfortunately, his seizures also multiplied and became more dangerous. More dangerous? Albert was hurting himself. 
and on one occasion he even tried to hurt me. It was unprecedented. It seemed his confined oh, personality was taking over their shared mind entirely, piece by piece. Shit. <laughs> Do you think the painting caused it? Not the painting, Mr. Featherland, but its subject. Exactly. He was obsessed right until that fateful day when he returned to us for the last time. What exactly happened that day, Doctor? It wasn't Hobart who brought his brother back that day, but two of his gorillas. What? Literally, I mean. Oh. And Albert was in a terrible, terrible. So he's person with the goat and the. What happened to him? Bobcat. I don't or the ram. To talk about that. I mean, not be Mr. animalist. Fenderland. It could be vital to the case, Doctor Quetzal. Don't back down. Oh, you're right. There's no use turning back now. So, Albert's tongue was torn. What out the fuck? Cut off. I don't know exactly. And he was blinded in one eye. Shit! Or rather, one of his eyes was missing. That's entirely. terrible. So you're saying Albert was brought back horribly mutilated? Yes. And they didn't give any explanation as to what had happened. They simply told me it was some kind of accident. Accident. Dr. Quetzal is cold and professional, but he's also very confused. Maybe it's cruel, but I must exploit his vulnerability mm. if I want to learn everything about Albert. So that mean he's not, he doesn't... Confused. So that means he doesn't all... Hmm. Hmm. The two fellows who brought Albert back, could you describe them? Those two fellows, as mm. you put it, Come on now. two remarkably huge, rude men. A ram and a bobcat, perhaps? No, one of them was a tiger, if I remember correctly. He had a rather fresh bump under his left eye, and the other one was a penguin. Oh, but shit. I've never seen a penguin that big in my entire life. Did they tell you anything? I Besides, think I know what happened. It was an accident. Hmm. They didn't say anything, but gave an obvious signal that I had to keep quiet about what happened. I wonder if I they see. did a switcheroo. I wonder if the the one in the insane asylum was wanted Natasha so bad that he like got out and replaced himself with Ivan. So he sent Ivan in, cut his tongue off. So he couldn't speak about it. Hmm. Hmm. That's what a controlling person would do. Uh. Shit. Concentrate, Doctor. What do you think happened to Albert? I'm sure it was Hobart. He ordered his men to mutilate poor Albert. Hmm. But why would he do that? Maybe Albert saw something he could accidentally reveal. To whom? The four walls? A couple of crazies? You? To anyone, Mr. Featherland. I don't think it's that simple, Doctor. But Shit. thank you for your honest opinion. You're welcome, Detective. What happened then? How did Albert disappear? A few weeks later, Hobart came to visit Albert mm. one more time. Albert had been in terrible condition by then. We even had to transfer him to another cell. A more safe Yeah, a safe one so he couldn't Hobart beat his head in. Visit? He didn't do anything. He just sat and watched his brother, who was <sighs> in an almost vegetative state by then. Couldn't you manage to draw anything out of him? You or Hobart? Nothing. For a while, he was trying to signal something. Perhaps 
He was too afraid. Shit. And most likely his fingers had been broken too, so he couldn't even write. Do you think Hobart could have killed Albert? It's horrible to say it. But I'm sure of it. How did he disappear in the end? Did someone come for him? That's what's most eerie about it all, Mr. Featherland. He simply disappeared. Hmm. His door, which only I had a key for, was open. Did anyone see anything? No one. We interrogated the staff, even the patients. He simply vanished off the face of the wilderness. We don't know what happened to him. Shit. Unfortunately, I have a hunch. Thank you, Doctor. But how'd he get out? Oh, well, I'm glad I could be of help. But please, I now must attend to my work. We understand, Doctor. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, close. Oh, wow. Really? Okay, Albert Wester disappeared. We have a hunch of what could have happened to him. Do we? I mean, he definitely got axed. Let's see. Albert Wester disappeared. We have a hunch about what could have happened. Yeah, of course he died. We knew that, but like, how did he get to that point? Hmm. Sorry, but... I still can't believe it's really you. How do we get out of here? Neither can we. You can't imagine how wonderful it is that I can help you in one of your cases. <gasps> Does this mean it will become a new book? And maybe I will be in it? Uh, Possibly. Miss, those books aren't really... Don't even tell me. No, no, no. I don't want to know. Let it be a surprise instead. No, I, I didn't mean... Leave it to me, Sonny. I'm good at this. Thank you, miss. Your words are very flattering, and we are honored. Haha. -ha. No. Go work, Marty. I thank Martin. you. I'll never forget this day. We won't either. That's oh, it's sure. still Marty. I, I don't know why. We're I happy myself. to bring you joy, miss. Anytime. Anytime. Talk to you one last time. Is that what we do? That's quite shocking information. I think you understand why we kept it a secret. Yeah. If it wasn't for Mr. Wessler's demand, we'd never let any of our patients walk freely outside our institution. Then the, uh, the accident happened. Accident? <laughs> we didn't believe it. Not for a second. After Albert came back to us, horribly mutilated, he was different. Different how? If someone got one of his eyes poked out and his tongue torn out, he'd be different. Ah, see? Not like this. Albert was a different person. We believe you, Doctor. So, can we take a look at Albert's cell? I wonder if he hid something in I'd there. I'd rather call it his room. Mr. Wessler lived in exceptional yeah. circumstances. <laughs> yeah, his room. Thanks to the Wessler name, I guess. Yes. Well, we try to make all of our patients stay as comfortable as possible. Try. But Albert certainly enjoyed mm, special favoritism. I hope you don't mind if we take a look around in there. Nah, don't That's mind at all. not going to bother anyone. Well, that's Whoa, uh, shit. surprising. I've never seen a cell like this before, that's for sure. I wouldn't mind living here myself. It seems that being a Wessler gets you privileges. And a healthy dose of danger. Mostly that. Yeah, yeah. like death. Let's take a good look around. Death! I'm sure we'll find some answers here. I can almost smell them. <laughs> well, can you? I smell paint, ink, plaster... Some kind of oil, aging paper, slight smell of rat, and great expectations. What the dickens? Unmistakable. Uh. Yeah. What? This place is bad for you, pal. But if you've already jump-started your beak holes, then sniff out the solution. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm on it, boss bird. Let's go. 
Okay. This is his writing desk. No way. Is this some kind of puzzle? I don't think so. But we could still find something important here. A pattern, a sign, anything. Okay. So bird. We got all these eyes. We got like a lady? A lady fox or a lady mouse rat? Uh, this looks like the institution. Squealy. It's like a signed A for Albert. We got the police. Okay. So these yellow ones are stars, but then we have red stars. We got a... Oh, shit. Hold on. Let's see. What is this? This is a oh this is a flower but what's this thing? What is this? Okay. Wow. Connected. <laughs> Let's see. And then here's a, here's a cat in a top hat with the infinity sign in its head. Well, this is kind of crazy. Bird. Star. Whatever that is. Whoa, I see a bunch of ha-ha back here. What's this? Okay. We'll come back to that. What the fuck? Okay, it's just a naked chameleon. The style. It's very familiar to me. You've been lonely. Oh shit, this is the same long, style huh? as that crocodile lady. Anybody. It is a little. So, so this is an original Albert. So Albert is a painter, and I, I assume so. he made murals for people. It's pretty good, I must say. And I saw something very similar in Natasha's room. So there's three of them. Natasha has one it. too. Sorry, little boy. Maybe next time. Okay, cool. I see. Oh, cool! The book, the handful of waffles, <laughs> chicken and a cat. Chicken and a puss. You know, I don't think he had it so bad in here. He did not. You mean, apart from being separated from everyone you love in an ancient mansion filled with madmen? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. As always. Fucking. Okay. Anything else in here? Creepy mural, writing desk, fancy bed. Okay. Oh, Identical shit. Identical twins. And looking at it. They may have easily loved the same woman. I think they did. I think this was a Two man and one woman. Nothing good ever comes of Hell no, you can't share her. Well, I wouldn't say that exactly. Fuck you, Marty. Of all the wild ones, Marty, please. Stitch up your beak, okay? Fuck Just them. use your imagination. Keep the cock bird. in the cock, alright? These are chess pieces. Scribbles. Newspaper articles. Study papers. Poems. Perfect chaos. So, just like the troubled mind of it's a, a nonsense. Fella. Yeah, Fuck. but there's still a kind of order in it. It's just too intricate for you to comprehend. If you say so, boss. I don't know, dog. I think it could just be a madman writing. Look at that. A letter. Yeah. Oh, look. A letter. Ah. Wait, we picked up two things? What was the other thing? This is... Oh. Identical twin. Oh, I can't flip it. Okay. Uh, I I know I don't exist. I don't exist because you don't see me, but I'm not what you, you think I am. You don't think about me, do you? Never know. I think of you every day, every minute, always. In my dreams, I, I have become one with him, one soul. You know who I am thinking about, right? Yeah. You oh! You can feel it. Can you feel it? I am there, too, with you. Do you feel it, right? Let's see. I can't hold it in myself long. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, please. I'm sorry, but I can't help it. The world is crashing down. Well, the whole world just rotting and rotting. Everything is rotting around me. I have to get out of here to become one with my destiny and one with you. So is he talking about his like a schizophrenic other side? Or is it also just happens to be her? Forgive me. A bunch of E's and F's and I's in this. Albert was madly in love with Natasha. And would have done anything for her. I'm afraid he did exactly that. Yeah. Albert. 
Okay. What do you make of this? Hmm. Apart from the fact the guy was totally insane? I don't know. What should I? That maybe we've been chasing the wrong person all this time, Marty. What do you mean? Everything will be revealed soon. Why do you have to be so melodramatic all of a sudden? If I'm right, this will flip the whole case upside down. <laughs> What's that, Sonny? A blurb from some horrible novel? I just have to think things through before I come to any hasty conclusions, Marty. He might be thinking uh, the same thing I'm thinking. You're killing me. So what now? Where to? Back to Clawville, where we can finally put all the pieces together. <sighs> you're driving me crazy. But all right, let's go home. No. No! What the fuck? What? What about- well, So the cell was nonsense? What can you tell us about the woman in the photo we saw in Albert's room? Do you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko? Well, yes. I don't know much about her, but everyone heard her name and her voice around here. Did she ever visit this place? Never. But if you ask me, Natasha hmm. probably didn't even know Albert was a resident of our institution. If you liked to know, you wouldn't be a resident. You, you wouldn't. Often? Constantly. It was obvious he had an affection for Miss Katsenko, but I wouldn't have thought for a moment he could escape because of her. Hmm. I wouldn't jump ahead, Doctor. Something else could be behind Albert's disappearance. Do you think so? All the signs clearly indicate this. Maybe they do, Doctor, but in my line of work, logic's not always the best advisor. In 99% of cases. Exactly. But this one typically belongs to the remaining 1%. Oh. If you say so. So, detectives, have you found what you were looking for? I'm afraid we have, Doctor. And more. I wouldn't dare to say I'm happy to hear it, but I'm glad to be of service to you. Well, thanks, Doc. I hope I don't offend you by saying, I hope we're not going to meet anytime <laughs> soon. Yeah. Not on account of either of our jobs, am I right? Exactly. All right. Albert fell fatally in love with Natasha. Was that the reason he had to die? Possibly. Bum bum bum. Back to the hotel. Oh, I don't believe this. Those two again? Take them out. My car won't last much longer. Don't worry, Sonny. I was born to do this. Cool. Here we go. Fuck. Reload. Damn. Concentrate, Marty, for the God's sake. Well, obviously. You're not a fucking lunatic. Shut up and shoot, you big feather pillow. Whoa, come on. Are you blind or what? Where did you learn to shoot? Shut up. That's so rude. Get the tires. Yeah. Well, that was close. A little too close for my taste. And it only strengthens my belief. Wessler is desperate. He knows if we survive, he's done for. Well, come on, what did you work out? Will you tell me already? Sure. Let's put the picture together, piece, piece by, by piece. Piece by piece. Let's start from the beginning. So, we got a case. Yes, we did. Because of this. Nope. The fuck? Oh, is it an item? Of course it was. Shit. What? Let's see, let's start from the beginning. So we got a case. Natasha tried to keep that painting a secret from us. She wanted uh, she needed to destroy the painting to hide what happened to Albert Wesker. Natasha, there we go. Because that's his signature on it. Albert's. 
Yep. And that painting would have shown us the way. Okay. Let's see. Gibbon and Albert Wessler. Albert painted Natasha, so he met her on more than one occasion. Correct. All right. Oh shit! What? There we go. Made Albert. Falling with Natasha on a fateful night, he killed his brother so he could take his place in the secret. Fall in love with Natasha, and on a fateful night, he killed his brother so he could take his place in secret and win Natasha's heart. <laughs> Case closed. So what happens now? You mean Albert, right? Yeah, exactly. Whoa. And of course, those, those lip flaps weren't lining up. You think she knew about it? Something stinks, Marty. The whole case seems too intricate. Hmm. Too many coincidences, right? Well, well, after ten years, you did learn something, didn't you? Nine. <laughs> You're right. Huh. What? You just laughed, Sonny. What? No, I d I. Uh, no, you laugh, dog. No, you laugh. Got that funny I bone in you. <laughs> I'll be telling this to my grand chicks. <laughs> All right, pal, that's enough. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Albert fell madly in love with Natasha and decided to have her for himself. And his best chance was to trade places with Ibn Wessler. So that's why the torn out tongue. Yeah. Ibn couldn't squeal even if he wanted to. She What a diabolical plan. More like insane. But why the messages then? I called why it. Why the threats? Albert got what he wanted. He could have got away with it. I'm not a psychologist, Marty. But remember what the doctor told us. Albert has a seriously injured mind and a split personality. I think his two identities were at war with each other. So the messages were written by one of his personalities. Oh shit. By jealousy? Something like that, Marty. But we can only learn the whole truth from him. You're right. So, are we going or what? We're going, Marty, to finally finish what we started. Well, if there's anything you'd like to do before, do it now, boss. You won't have a chance later. All right, that's telling you to do all the side it. shit. It's time to wrap. But we're done with that. We're ready to wrap this case up. <laughs> oh, look, it's my boy, Lewis. Weirdly, how you're still in. Oh, look at that car. That's sad. That's a sad sight. <sighs> oh, shit. So, we are looking for more evidence? Why did I come here? No, I was just thinking we could take another look, you know, just in case. Mm, okay, sure, but don't even ask, Marty. You're really becoming sentimental. One more word, and I swear. So I hope that means yep, the. I'm gonna shut it. Okay. So is the body just still here? You know, Sonny. Okay. When we entered the room and saw the girl, Deborah. Yeah, her body. I called you every name in the book inside my head. I just had enough, you know. I wanted to quit. What kept you with me? Was it just curiosity? No. I just wanted to see your downfall, boss. I wanted to be there when you met your end. Oh, shit. Humiliated or even shot. Wow. What the well, fuck? Thanks for your honesty, Marty. Yeah, Marty, what the shit? But then everything changed on the ship. But on then the everything ship. changed. Why the that? Fire Nation attack. I don't know. Being tied up with you, waiting for certain death. I know I lashed out at you, but in truth, I felt there was no place I'd rather be. It but by no your side. Fucking burning ship with you, even if we both died there. Know what I mean? I think I do, Marty. I think I, I, think I do. I do. Mm, yeah. So, I guess there's nowhere to go but forward, huh? I Nothing guess so. Have to do but kill a rat, as the chicken police. For the last time, 
For the last clucking time, partner. One last ride. I swear. I swear. All right. Let's hit the road. Yay. Nope. What? Is it going to make us go to all these places? It is. Okay. Well. Ah, you know, Sonny. Hold on. I got to go grab so something. So, when this is done dog. talking, I can. Okay. Yeah, clucking cops. Did you dog? All right, let's go. You have a point. The silence, the fog, the sunshine slowly devouring the sleeping city. The smell. Yeah, the cobbler district has its own distinctive aroma, that's for sure. Oh, Jesus. But wait, do you smell that? Ah, it seems Zip is ready with the first batch of coffee. That's waiting only for us, my friend. It's gonna make us go to memory lane for all these, but it's fine. Well, he's out. What up, Zippity Zap? He's brave indeed, or an idiot. They're often the same, Marty, and you should know. <laughs> the fuck? What fell? Hello, Zip. I see they kicked you out. You don't know, Sonny. They told me I could stay in there for 48 hours if I wanted. Well, maybe you should have done that. Shit, I had enough. Fuck it, you understand? When you interrogated me, you opened my eyes. I don't give a shit about him, about Wesler and his henchmen. Let them come if they want. It's not gonna be easy for them. You can be sure of that. Oh, That's shit. the zip we know and love. Thanks, Marty. So, uh, why are you here? One last coffee before the end. Are you going to get him? We don't have a choice, Zip. We're grabbing the rat by the tail. No screwing around. No playing at night. Ah, I see Ibn's really got to you. Just Sonny. I'm like this all the time. Yeah, that's true. You gonna give me my cup of joe? And what do you expect will happen when you get there? They'll either let us in Shit, or we'll just whips it out. And go in guns blazing. How hard can it be? Whips out the gap. I'm not sure you know what you're up against, boys, but it's your funeral. I'm just glad I got to know the legendary chicken police. Hey, 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 don't write us off yet. I'm just getting ready for all possibilities, Marty. Hey, chicken coppers. Yeah, Zip. Take care of your feathers for me, okay? <laughs> Will do, Zip. Will do. Don't worry. I'll protect this smelly old bird. Bye bye. Should I say it? I know, Sonny. I can still get out. <laughs> but you won't. On the beak. But you will. Thanks, pal. You bitch. Forget about it. I'd be bored to death otherwise. Cool. You all ready to rumble? You know, pulling the trigger was the toughest decision of my life. You mean when you shot me? Yeah. But it wasn't hard, because you thought you'd kill me. Not at all, Sonny. I knew you'd survive. I wanted it to be a permanent injury and hurt like clucking hell. But I knew that everything would change from then on. That something was gonna break between us? Yeah. And that I was never gonna be the same either. With that shot, I also gunned down who I was, you know? It really did hurt like hell. I know. I almost bled to death. Almost was the goal. And? Did you manage to forgive me since then? Well, what hurt me wasn't what you did. 
I mean, of course it did, but what hurt the most was you not trusting me. That you didn't believe me. Hmm. Not until you pulled the trigger. At that moment, I knew you were right. Ah, cluck. Yeah, cluck. All right, enough sentimental crap. We have an insane rat waiting to be put behind bars, and a woman you gotta get. What? Come on, Sonny. Even a blind bat can see it. Oh, well. What the fuck? Fuck again. Yep. What? Wait, so I only, I only got two of those? Where's the other one at? Oh shit! What's up, Bobo? Hey, Bobo. Hello, old man. <laughs> Is he asleep? But his eyes are open. <sighs> Bobo! Huh, huh, hey, what is it? I, I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. You, you were something. What the hell are you doing here, chickens? Sonny wanted to say hi before he suffers an unpleasant death of lead poisoning later tonight. Would you shut the clock up, Marty? You're not funny. I am a little bit. You're going to Wessler's, huh? Yep. Bingo. We're gonna put an end to this madness. Ooh. Or you're stirring up an even bigger madness, am I right? Well, that's always a possibility. Get yourself killed for all I care, but don't come here covered in blood. Because I'm not gonna open the door for you, I swear. Oh, thanks for the support, old fart. Don't mention it, you old gizzard. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice, Martin? Of course, Boobo. Get the fuck out. Go on. Take care of the old rooster, okay? <laughs> That's all I ever do, Doc. Can of course, Boobo. Take Shit. Care. <laughs> that no hard feelings? What can I say, boy? I have a big, soft heart. You sure do, Ursula. Would you like a nice hot cup of tea? No, thanks. We just came to say goodbye. Why? You going somewhere? Traveling? Uh, just in case. Uh, no, we're just uh, visiting a uh, a nice place in the city. Sonny's gonna die. Shut up, Marty. So it's a case. Well, be careful, boys. And I'm sorry I snapped at you the last time. Aww. You don't need to say that, Ursula. We deserved it. You're a good boy, Sonny. And Marty's a downright saint. <laughs> oh, come on, Ursula. Stop that. How is the old owl? He's old and grumpy, but he's always like that. Wait a minute. Isn't he supposed to sleep now? He is. I mean, Reginald's never truly asleep. Not entirely. He just shuts down. That's super Even weird. now? Yes. I gotta see that. Any more? Take care, you said. Will do, Auntie Ursula. Hey. Don't be saucy, young man. Saucy. Can I give you? Of course. Take care. Okay. So that was it. All right. One more time. Take care of yourself. We'll do. Hey. Okay. So we're done here. Did did we not do everything at the hot dog? Just out of curiosity. Or is it just we gotta go here first? Well, if we have anything else to ask the old beaver, this is the last chance. Hey, don't steal my style. Just learning from the best. Let me give you some advice. Don't. Does the name Albert mean anything to you? I know multiple Alberts, Sonny. Which one do you mean? Albert Wessler. I see you're in a funny mood, Sonny boy. I'm not joking, Mullen. But I'm surprised there's something I know and you don't. Hmm. Uh, and who is this Albert, anyway? Ibn Wessler's hidden son, maybe? Even better, my friend. His secret twin Oh, brother. shit. <laughs> You've walked into trouble there. I was hoping you could tell me something useful about him. I, I can, sonny boy. Avoid him. Avoid the whole Wessler family. 
Those who happen upon secrets that deep sink without a trace. Yeah. Well, I used to be a professional swimmer, didn't you know? No, I didn't. I lied. What do you know about that asylum? Uh, what's it called? Since there's only one of those around Clawville, I know which one you mean, Sonny. It's an ancient mansion, easily around a hundred years old for sure, or more. But what do you want to know about it anyway? We actually just got out of there. <laughs> that explains it. Yeah. Seriously. Just got out of the mental you know institute. The place is self-sufficient in theory, but in reality, the Crown maintains it. No one knows the exact reason why, but according to gossip, they used to keep someone in there. Someone who was either part of the royal family or just very close to the fire. But who knows? Maybe it's just a legend? That's weird. Well, they say we're legends too, and we're standing right in front of you. Am I right? What can I say then? <laughs> this whole city is full of legends. This Albert, he had to paint a picture of Natasha at his brother's request. Uh, let me guess. He fell in love with her. Yeah, classic, huh? Then he killed his brother and took his place. Yeah, well, that's a classic too. So, you're telling me who goes by Ibn Wessler is not really Ibn Wessler. Correct. Exactly. He's Albert, a dangerous lunatic with multiple personality disorder. Ha <laughs> lads, I guess that Miss Marble's going to write another one of those novels about this. You mean Meredith? Oh, that's just what we need. <laughs> Once you sold your soul, it's too late to cry about it, sonny boy. That's what I keep telling him. Do you know Dr. Quetzal? Dr. Quetzal you mean Professor Quetzal Coatulus? <laughs> now you laugh at this, but we went to university together. You did what? Do I not look the type to you? No, you, well, I didn't mean that. I just uh, didn't know you uh, you went to university. I studied psychology, Sonny. Only I forgot to graduate. That's why my father died. So that's why you know the animals so well. No, I know them well because I have a newspaper stand and I talk to hundreds of animals each day. And I listen to the everyday problems of almost all of them. Huh. There's no better lesson in animal studies. You surprise me every time, old beaver. And what do you know about him? Can he be trusted? You're afraid he screwed you. He looks like a terribly dishonest snake, but don't let your prejudices overshadow what your wattle tells you. Quetzal's one of the kindest hearted and most honest animals I've ever known. Oh, That's shit. good to know, Uncle Mullen. Or rather, uh, Professor Mullen. Hmm. Hey, 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 don't get cocky with me, little chicky. Don't worry about what it. What do you know about the Wessler Mansion, Uncle Mullen? That if you're about to go there, bring a tank with you. Or two. Dangerous, you mean? <laughs> Dangerous? <laughs> Put the <laughs> shooter way through on me. Giant walls, watchtowers, and of course, Wessler's hired thugs are waiting for you there. Yeah, sounds great. It's a beautiful place, I must admit. <laughs> At least you'll kick the bucket with mouths hanging open in wonder. That's <laughs> something. Oh that man, this place is keep it. Then just offed. Okay. You can finish this up. Hey old man. Sun's not even up yet. And you're already open? You know what's my secret, Sonny Boy? What? I never close. That clever. <laughs> How can I help you, lads? I see you're gone somewhere. Well, Sonny's going to die. I'm Sonny. just up a delicate case. So You'll be off to the Westler residency then. You're sharp, old beaver. Well, me dear lads, I'm glad I got to know you. Hey, don't you start too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. One more? Got I always have. That's very wise advice. Why haven't you told Shit. us before? Could have saved Sonny some painful memories. If you carry on like that, Marty, you too can learn how it feels. <laughs> you too. Alright. You didn't have the chance to tell me what happened to your brother. He left Clawville and I haven't talked to him since. Oh, I'm sorry. But 
I received an unexpected letter two weeks ago from the Su Ra province. Someone dropped it off at my door. Was it him? He wrote the letter, that's for sure. I could smell the jungle when I opened it. But whether he was the one who delivered it, I don't know. Have you tried to find him? He'll find me if he wants to, Sonny. I know he's not guilty, and that's enough. But he's still wanted in Clawville, right? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for playing a part in Shit. all this. I know, Sonny. The past is the past. You know, you've truly changed, Marty. You try to hide it, but you've changed. Thanks, boss. Just, uh, don't call me boss, okay? We're partners. Yeah. I've also forgiven you, you know? I don't remember asking for it. I'm not mad anymore. Blow me, Sonny. You always have to have the last word? <laughs> of course not. I've also forgiven you. I okay. I'm not mad. Blow me, Sonny. <laughs> of course not. So, like, what do we do now? Albert is Evelyn. Where the fuck are we supposed to go? Uh, Abandon hope all there. <laughs> Funny cause. Uh, do we call somebody? Ward. Very confused. Can we not just go now? Did, did we just not drink our coffee? Is that what happened? All in all, thanks Zip. What You've the fuck? Great help. Thank you too, boys. You really opened my eyes. If I see Wessler again or any of his goons, I'm gonna plug him right there. I'm not sure that's what we're suggesting. I'm gonna try the food here one day. Oh, you have to die of something. No, it what can't. the fuck? Have we already did this. Nope. Why don't you hire a cook, Zip? Or at least a dishwasher. I know just the guy. Strapping young lad, got quite a big mouth, but he's not that bad. Though he does smell like chicken. Don't you mean that Marty guy? Eh, I heard horrible things about him. They say he names all his guns. Well, he's a flop with chicks. Hits huh. first, asks later. Yeah, a real chicken shit. Hey, I'm right here. We know Marty. That's why it's fun. Ah, blow me, both of you. <laughs> One more coffee, boys. Thanks, Zip. Maybe next time. If there is a next time. Is that, is that it? One more coffee. Thanks. If there is oh, a Come on, can I leave now? Where do I go? I don't fucking know. Do I have to call a number? Like, what am I missing here? I'm supposed to do certain things in order or something? Oh, well, look, if, if I go to this place, is, is he gonna have something different to say? Can I give you a quick no, game? fuck not. I'm done, right? Why am I, what am I doing? Like, how the fuck? Do I gotta call my boy Lewis again? Like for the eighth time? Uh. We've done a lot more than we should. Well, memories grow more. It's a. You see? Uh. Okay. The 
Fuck. Uh. I've had enough. St you know, I thought about it multiple times that you might be Meredith H. Marvel. Oh, that'd be funny. I've met her on a number of occasions, Marty. Remember, her real name is Susie. Maybe Susie's just an actress you hired. You've read too much of that cheap garbage, Marty. There's no conspiracy theory. Susie's just a money-hungry little dame who made a fortune off of us. That's all. Yeah, you're disappointing. I yeah. know. Can we roll out? Also forgiving. Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course not. The fuck's that guy's number? One thing. It's also the wrong thing. Alright, Lois. Fucking how do we get there? 932 What? Where do I go? What have I missed? Uh... Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, Lewis. You weren't awake all night because of us, were you? I've never been this excited, Sonny. Seriously, it is a great honor to be part of the team. What is you, Lewis? Huh? You? I didn't. I just noticed that. Stutter anymore? What? Just now, you, you didn't stutter, not even a little. Oh, I must be exhausted. It, it happens sometimes. And it's b b back. So, uh, thanks again, Lewis. Hmm. You always get us out of trouble. Come on, b b boys. Don't even m m mention it. It is me who is grateful to be a part of an adventure of the ch ch chicken police. Maybe the last one, too. Hey, Sonny. Don't spoil his mood. He's so cute. B b part. Hmm? Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> So, you're going now to confront Mr. W w w Whistler? We have no other choice, Lewis. We're gonna see it through to the end. We've already come this far. You're brave, gentlemen. I'm honestly impressed. Well, the rabbit's on to something. This isn't about money. Not about courage or pride, either. It's simply... Stubbornness? Mostly, yeah. Nice. I just realized. Ibn at the Tsar Club. Yes, Marty. Albert's been Ibn for a long time now. Hmm. Do you remember what Natasha said about him? That he's been acting strange recently? Yep. Exactly. Like, he's not himself anymore. It was almost hitting us in the face, huh? Don't blame yourself, Marty. We couldn't have figured that out just by ourselves. The whole story's too twisted for that. Well, it's how we make our living, Sonny. And I'm sure we'll have plenty more twisted cases to come. Who knows, Marty? It's not up to us. It's mostly not up to us, in fact. Yeah, right. Do you think the asylum was in on it? I mean, covering up Albert's disappearance? You know that reptiles give me the creeps. One of them even set fire to that ship. But oddly enough, the doctor seemed honest to me. He seemed like a patient to me. Seriously, I thought everyone was crazy in that place. <laughs> yeah. Whoever fights monsters should see to it that in the process, he doesn't become a monster. Oh, look at that. Are you still talking about the doctor? <laughs> Good question. So, what's the plan? We shoved a letter in our theory in his face and see what happens? Something like that, Marty. I think our presence will be enough for the truth to come out. 
I really hope you're right, Boss Bird. We have no other choice. So I hope so too. Ooh. Do you think it's a love triangle? I mean, could Natasha love Albert as well? Good question, Marty. But I don't think so. When I first spoke to Natasha, she told me she loved Ibn in her own way. In her own way, huh? And could she love two rats in her own way? Maybe. Maybe she even suspected the truth, but didn't dare admit it, even to herself. Oh. Hmm. So, what do you think, now that it's clearer? I don't know, Marty, but I believe Natasha didn't mean to be bad. Not intentionally, at least. I'm not as sure of that as you are, boss, but we'll find that out pretty soon, I We're guess. about to raid the I castle. Think Natasha was very much aware that wherever she goes, disaster follows her. But it's not her fault, and she can't do anything about it. There are people like that. Really? You don't say. Someone remarkably similar came to mind right now. You mean me, right? Who can even read minds? Maybe you're right, Marty. Maybe you're right. All right. Look, Sonny. I think if we go now, there's no turning back. Not today, at least. So, are you ready? Yeah. I'm still thinking about it, Marty. Okay. So, when you feel we can leave, just point to the place on the map, and we'll be off. Thanks, All right. partner. I'll do that. Let's go. To the fucking place. In Golden City. The sun was shining, and all the ducks were in a row. I felt ready. The pieces of the grand puzzle were laid out on the table. I just needed to piece them all together. A revealing glance or a careless word, and I'd have the answer. I knew we were in the right place. I knew it was nearly over. The shit bucket we're driving. Was Natasha really just a victim? Or did she know everything? Was she controlling the puppets from behind the curtain? Well, if you don't know where to go, go straight ahead. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. Like more than we want. But whatever, Sunny. What bigger now? Here I am, Natasha. I hope you're waiting for me. Furry gods. I knew he was rich, but. Jesus wow. Christ, look at all this half green. The city is in his hands, Marty. And half the Council of Twelve. So six. I think we'll catch a big fish today. Don't count your chickens. I'm sure Wessler's expecting us. And Natasha, too, I hope. You hope? If I'm right, she could be our only chance of survival. Lovely prospects, huh? I've had worse. Really? <laughs> all right. Freaking damn. Huh. One of Wessler's ancestors, maybe. Wessler's ancestors were poor cobblers. More likely this represents what he thinks of himself. I wonder how chivalry is compatible with organized crime. Eben was planning to leave the underworld. When his twin brother tore out his tongue, poked out his eye, killed him, and took his place? Yeah. Damn. All right then. Hey, not so fast, chickens. Gabriel, my partner. You didn't mean to be rude. It's just his uh, terrible habits, as you may already know. Yeah, like trying to gun us down. Not as long as I'm here, boys. We'll see about that, furball. We're gonna just start shooting. Ah, look what the cat dragged in. Funny, I don't recognize them. Well, maybe if they had some guns with them? Tommy guns? Oh, yeah. Now I remember. The two suckers in the luxury van you shot to pieces. Twice. Exactly. <sighs> what are you doing here, chickens? Would you like us to finish what we started? 
We'd love to have fun with you boys, but we need to talk to your boss. And while we're at it, the lady of the house is also expecting us. Is that so? Yeah, that's so horny. In that case, I guess there's no reason for us to waste your precious time. Is that right, Gabriel? Oh, get the hell out of our sights while there are still feathers on your skin, chickens. Easy, nice. pal. We're not even here anymore. Until next time, <laughs> boys. Sayonara. This must lead to Fuck the crow. Natasha's suite. Let's get the big guns out and kick the door down. No need for that, Marty. We'll wait until they invite us in. Like real gentlemen. Then maybe we'll need the guns. But I hope it won't come to that. It might, though. Oh, my trigger finger's itching, Sonny. Someone's gotta pay. Relax, Marty. Someone is gonna pay. Yeah. It's a game, Wobs. It's a it game. Us. That's for sure. Ah, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Olivia. Sweetie. Get lost. Uh, what did you say, ma'am? Turn around and get the hell out of here now. If you want to make it out with feathers intact. <laughs> Come on, Olivia. Don't worry about us. We know what we're doing. Martin. Huh? Don't you get it? You have to get out of here or you'll be in danger, and also her. Do you mean Natasha? Please calm down, miss. We have to talk to Mr. Wessler and Miss Katsenko. You really don't understand, do you? No. What do they not understand, Olivia? What the fuck? So, what is it exactly that our guests don't understand? I was trying to tell the detectives that Mr. Wessler's very tired and doesn't welcome guests this early. He gets rather irate if he's being disturbed at this hour. I'm sure Mr. Featherland and Mr. McChicken can wait here while Ibn refreshes himself. I'll entertain them until then. Thank you, Miss, uh, Itsenko. Please, Sonny. I thought we've already discussed this. Call me Natasha. Uh, <clears throat> please, Natasha, can we talk to you in private? Martin, it's all right, Olivia. These gentlemen are my friends. Yes, Miss Katzenko. Okay. I tried to warn you. Thanks, Olivia. <sighs> okay. The truth is... Ibn isn't really in a good Did she shape kill him? today, gentlemen. He's rather furious. Are you sure this can't wait? You commissioned us, Natasha, and we barely escaped with our combs intact. So you know who left the threats? Oh, we know much more than that, Natasha. We even know where you used to work. We talked to Madame Savas. Wild gods! Why didn't you tell us? Do you think it's easy for a woman to talk about such things that she used to be an escort? Mm. Along with Molly? Yeah, I know, Natasha. I also know all of this was Come on, Wops, keep it in your pants. Believe me, I tried to handle things the least painfully I could. You weren't even supposed to know. A lot shouldn't have happened. Poor Deborah shouldn't have had to die. Dear sweet Deborah. Cold, stiff Deborah. Please Damn. don't say that. A price worth paying? You cannot think I had anything to do with that. You just cannot. I don't know, Natasha. Please, Sonny, tell me what is going on. Show him the you papers. You have to know, right? Please. Excuse me for making you wait, detectives. I'm having a rough morning after a long night. Is that so? Our night was also kind of long. To put it mildly. I was just telling the gentlemen that you were exhausted, my dear, and they should come back another time. I'll escort them out. Oh, honey, no need for that. My door is always open to the legendary chicken police. Please, uh, come on in, guys. Let's start talk in my room. Then this way, please. What you is this shit? Here, my darling. I'm sure our conversation will bore you to death. Please, uh, Go and refresh yourself or uh, tell Olivia to go make some coffee. Yes, dear. Whatever you like. Please, uh, 
Follow me, gents. <laughs> the fucking eye. Hey, Wesler. So long, sweetheart. Goodbye. Oh, there we go. Yep, there it is. And there's the name ripped off. Bum bum bum. This painting, it's beautiful and rather provocative. Almost makes my comb stand up. I'm not surprised. But the corner is missing. You're right, Sonny. You're quite the observer. Well, yeah, this painting's unfortunately damaged. I don't know where the missing piece could be. You don't know? Well, if you're interested, we know exactly where it is. Really? Really. It's here with us. Bum, bum, bum. An insignificant little piece, isn't it? But there's an exciting cat scratch on it. More like a rat scratch? Because it's a monogram. A.W. That's... Albert Wessler. He's a great painter. I don't know if you've heard of him. Enough. Out with it already. What are you trying to say? I have no time for your childish charades. <laughs> Easy, Wessler. We'll get to that in a bit. Oh, we're playing with him. Easy, buddy. Easy. Now let's get you with the gun. Give me that book. Whoa. Farewell from Fowls. Okay. This is a rather rare brandy. It lifts the spirits, if I may be so, uh, poetic. Poet. Really? Tempting, but I need to keep a clear head, Mr. Wessler. Yeah, I've heard you don't despise a good vintage. And I've heard you don't despise murder, Wessler. By the way, you've heard right. But everything has its place and time. Drinks, guns, dead bodies, and the truth. Yeah. I see you're in a poetic mood as well. She More yeah. like prophetic. And that's not a good sign. Can I take the gun? Yeah. Are you trying to intimidate me? No, that's not how we do business. We're gentlemen. I really hope so. Give me the gun. Do you keep a revolver in your bedroom? Yeah, a bad habit. One who has a lot to lose has a lot to fear. I agree. Okay, well, that's it. Alright, dog. So, uh, what do you want to know? I've heard you've been through a rather eventful few days. Oh, you have rather good informants. Yeah, that's true. I should tell you, I see and hear everything that happens in the city. And you, uh, you are exceptionally resilient. No offense. None taken. But tell me, are we going to flatter each other for a long time, or are we finally done with the courting? Oh. Straight to the point. I like it. Yeah. So let's continue like that, shall we? What do you want? How dare you intrude upon me in my own house? Oh, forgive us. Our moral compass has been confused a little bit after someone tried to kill us several times in the last 48 hours with fire with machine guns i <laughs> could go on and while we're at it you could answer some of our questions if you've nothing to hide you have nothing to fear and then we'll just leave you alone all right i'll go along with your childish little game i would have had a long and tedious day ahead of me anyway so can we start with pleasure mr wessler All right. I have no idea what she sees in you, but Natasha's been seriously worried about you. Yeah, she uh, really worries more than usual, but it's understandable. Those disgusting messages. Disgusting, all right. Do you know why that word exactly? Why did they write that specific word everywhere? Since, uh... Since uh, you've been to the Nile, I guess you know the answer to your question. Didn't it bother you, Wessler, what Natasha used to do? Surely it must have upset you. Why? Did it upset you when you discovered your wife did the same oh, thing? Oh, shit! What did you just say? What did you think, chicken? That I didn't know? Yeah, don't make me laugh. I know about everyone who ever set foot in that place. 
I can oh, even gosh. tell you who Molly's regulars were, if you're interested. That's gross. You son of a bitch. Sonny, don't. Yes, detective? Not yet. You're right, Marty. It's not worth it. You're funny, you know that? About the painting. Yeah. My brother Albert made it. He's a great talent, but, uh, still, uh, he's a rather troubled individual. Such self-criticism. What did you say? My partner means that you and your brother are very much alike. Identical twins, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. But, uh, what does that have to do with the painting? We'll get to that. Don't worry, Mr. Wessler. <laughs> so Albert made the painting at your request, is that right? And the one that's in Natasha's room in the Tsar, too. Yeah, exactly. Is that a crime? No, it's not a crime in itself. This picture, it's rather strange, you know? Why do you think so? It's just me, Natasha, and my brother. The photo doesn't tell much in itself, yes. But if you already have the right information, Suddenly, it starts Ooh, to talk. Ooh, sound like it starts to really? speak. He fell in love with her, didn't he? Who do you mean? Albert, of course. He fell in love with Natasha. All those sessions while he was painting the pictures. Were you there every time? You mean, uh, me? You. No, I mean, while Albert was painting, yeah, but I wasn't there all the time. Albert was there mm. all along. Yeah, because you, you are Albert. You could have fallen in love with Natasha. That's why he escaped. What do you think happened to him? Who tore out his tongue? Eh, I have no idea. He knows. Did Natasha know about what happened to your brother? No, of course not. Do you love beautiful things, Wesler? I... Eh, why do you ask that? Yeah, of course. You were afraid of losing her, weren't you? To him. Stop. Enough. If you want to ask something, ask clearly. Don't play with me. You understand? We're just doing our job. We're just and getting started. Clearly. And quickly. Yeah, I'm really starting to lose my patience. We visited Albert's cell and found something he seems to have uh, forgotten to take with him in his great hurry. That's a big mistake. A classic, even. What the hell are you babbling about? This is Albert Wessler's love letter to Natasha. More like a confession. In which he tells her he's capable of doing anything for her. Even the most horrible things. Yeah, this letter doesn't prove anything at all. Albert is mad. Insane. He's not a... normal. No one would believe his word, don't you understand? But they believe yours, right? Because you're not Albert Wessler. You're Hobart Ibn Wessler, aren't you? How good it feels to be in his skin. Oh. How dare you? Just tell him, Sonny. I'm getting tired of this. You're just a cheap fake, Albert. You couldn't follow in your brother's footsteps even if you wanted to. No matter how hard you tried, you Ooh, couldn't get fuck. the Fuck either. him up. Am I right? What? What did you just say? She hates you, doesn't she? She doesn't know. She doesn't understand why. But she hates you. It's instinctive. Yeah, what do you know? What could you possibly know about suffering and loneliness and darkness? <laughs> what the fuck? My wife what left me. Of course you know I know. About hate, huh? Ooh, get fucked. Here we go. Cool, he's got a gun now. Albert is an imposter. He's not who he says he is, and might not even know who he really is. I have to concentrate on this first to soften him up and to avoid us being shot in the gizzard. Did I get shot if I do the right question. Oh, look at you. What were you thinking, Albert? How long did you think you could keep it up? Until the end of my life, if needs. Yeah, I cared about nothing except for her to love me. Not for who Ibn was, but for who I am. Why did you think that would happen? Everybody noticed the change. 
Yeah, I knew it would be hard, Santino. But I also knew animals see what they want to see. Eh, I didn't have to behave like Ibn. They only had to believe I'm him. Well, hmm. Why did you decide to take your brother's place? Yeah, as you're curious. From the moment I laid eyes on Natasha for the first time. But I had to convince myself that this was the only way. You've never talked about your feelings for Natasha with your brother. Am I right? Are you insane? Yeah, Ibn would have had me killed immediately. And no one would ever know. That's not true. So instead, you've done the same thing, haven't you? What a comfortable excuse. Comfortable? Do you think all of this was just some kind of cruel game for me? I had to destroy the person I loved and respected the most. Cry me a river. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's only a thin, fragile membrane between love and hate. If anything touches it, it tears immediately. You've felt like this before, haven't you? Yeah. I can see it in your eyes. You can analyze me until the sun goes down, Wessler. But you won't get far with that. Yeah, oh. evasive answer. So I'm right. Hey. Thank you, Weeb. Oh. Weeb room. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh. Why did the Mueller Ivan? Why didn't he just kill you immediately? Did you ever believe that you were Ivan? Came from the YouTubes. Thanks, man. Uh, that's the plan. Let's see. Hmm. Did you ever believe that you were Ibn Wessler? Did I ever believe? I still do. I believed it all along. Don't you get it? I am Ibn Wessler. And also Albert Wessler. I see you're starting to understand. Yep. Hmm. There's two personalities. So you feel you're two people at the same time, even now. Hmm. Does it sound crazy? Maybe it is. But Ibn lives inside me. Sometimes he's even stronger than Albert ever was. Do you think you can avoid the gas chamber with this, Albert? What the yeah, fuck? I don't have to avoid anything, Sonny. You and your friend uh, will never leave this place. It's better if you start getting used to the thought. You're not the cold blood. Anyways, I'm a lurker. You like to think you you do lurk. That's fine. Yeah, I'm okay so. with lurkers. Try me, detective. The hell? That'll work. Let's see. What would you have done if Natasha found out? Kill her too? You know what? Maybe yeah. Maybe I would have ended myself. What poor. the fuck? Narcissistic pricks like you never commit suicide, Albert. Yeah. Are you sure you want to insult someone who's pointing a revolver at your stomach, detective? Fuck. That was your plan. I was 50. Take his place and live happily ever after. That was a mistake. Why? Isn't it good enough of a plan, Mr. Featherland? It was perfect. Even in its imperfection. He's shaking. Which is? Ibn's ghost. Is... is what? Uh, please don't take it literally, Mr. Chicken. I'm not talking about the uh, spirits. When Ibn died, I didn't just take his place, but also his role. He himself, uh, his essence, if you will. Yeah, though I guess that's the... Too much for you to understand. So yeah. you mean Ibn's here with us even now? He was here all along. Don't you get it? I am Hobart Ibn Wessler. I must get serious, because looking at the gun in Wessler's trembling hand, I'm afraid I don't have much time. Albert is a cruel what the psychopath, fuck? but maybe I can turn that cruelty <laughs> against him. Maybe. <laughs> When was the moment you decided to kill him, Albert? When I drew the last stroke on that fatal painting, Mr. Featherland. When I glanced at it for the last time, and then at Natasha, who was shivering under the weight of my gaze. You simply fell in love with her? End of story? 
Not in the slightest, Mr. Featherland. Love is, uh, just chemistry. What I felt was more than that. Everybody thinks that, Albert. But we all feel the same. We're just fools. No, Mr. Featherland. Not at all. At that moment, I knew what I was gonna do. I knew that the world was coming to an end if I didn't do it. It implodes on itself and ceases to exist. I couldn't let that happen. I couldn't. Oh. Let him have her, right? You simply wanted her for yourself. I wanted her for ourselves, Sonny. I was him by then. He just didn't know it yet. What the fuck? <laughs> so weird. Let's see. You enjoyed leading everyone by the nose, didn't you? Do you think this was just some megalomania power play on my part? Some kind of race with myself? Not in the slightest. Don't expect me to feel sorry for you. On the contrary, Sonny. Your kind can't even comprehend what I've been through. That way, you can't understand the reasons behind my decisions either. You know what? Maybe it's better this way. I'll sleep better, that's for sure. Well, I'll sleep permanently soon. If you're so. going to sleep, that will be your big sleep, chicken. Are oh, you so sure about that, Wessler? Ooh. Ooh, if got hit where it hurts. If you love Natasha so much, how could you lie to her all along? Yeah. We the most to those we truly love, Santino. Isn't that right? Ah, oh, fuck. It shouldn't be that way. You mean your wife, don't you? See? That's how it goes. We lie because we don't want to cause even more hurt. What you did, Wessler, is nothing like Molly or me. What you did was out of simple selfishness and cowardice. Watch what you're spitting out that dirty beak of yours, Santino. Ooh, get me. I'm not afraid of you, Wessler. You'd better get that into your small little rat brain. Fuck. Classic mistake, Mr. Fiddleland. I'm very close to breaking him. But if I'm too hard on him, I could quickly be signing my death warrant. It's time to dig a little bit deeper and uncover Wessler's wounds. Oh, fuck, dog. Natasha was kind to you, right? Too kind. Natasha was uh, simply amazing, gentle, kind. Lively, but still so, uh, distant. You're telling me. It's like she was from another world. A world where everything's full of charm and grace and everything's oh, shit. fragile and delicate. Uh, do you understand? I think I do, yes. I knew Albert's touch would harm her. Albert is rough. Albert can't keep such a delicate thing in his arms. That's why you had to become Ibn, am I right? I didn't take Ibn's uh... place, Mr. Featherland. I became one with him. Can't you see? It's the only way I could comprehend and accept the miracle that was Natasha. Fuck. Was. This is so twisted. I think I've corrupted her. She's not that gentle and pure creature I painted on oh, the no. canvas anymore. Don't kill her, please. I ruined her. She became rotten under my hands. Maybe it's not too late, Albert. Tell her the truth and end this. No. You can't understand this. She can't either. I killed Ibn, but he also killed me. Can't you what see? the? That's so weird. We're nothing without each other. You can't be two people at the same time, Albert. Nobody can bear the weight of the sins of two souls. Ibn loved her. I admired her. Ibn was crazy about her. I've been crazy for a long time. Ibn idolized her, and I hated her. And if there's anything more blind, more devoted, more extreme, and more true than love, it could only be hate, Mr. Featherland. It's an endlessly exciting, thrilling, and... Ah, oh, Jesus evil, Christ. ...and infinitely red. Just like love. Oh, fuck. You know you're not going to be able to go through with it, right? That you won't be able to carry the weight. But you still did it. Why? Yeah... If I didn't kill him and become one with him, Albert would have died, Mr. Featherland. And the threats 
Which one of you was that? Albert or Ibn? Who wrote them? And which one of you? Oh shit, that's that right. In my world, Ibn and I are inseparable. Just like love and hate are one and the same. And I hate Natasha so much that I could destroy myself along with her just so she would die with me. Are you familiar with this feeling, Mr. Featherland? What the fuck? More than life itself. You see? We're not so different after all. You and I have nothing in common, Wesler. You know why? Why, Mr. Featherland? Because if I were in your shoes, I would have pulled the trigger a long time ago. Goodbye, Sonny. So long, Albert. Sherlock Combs, a hey. fuck. Bad copper. <laughs> Whoops. Who's about to get blown away? Am I about to get blown away? Martin! Martin, shoot him! Or is everyone gonna kill himself? Oh, he got shot. Oh, fuck! Where'd she come from? So, you heard everything. I heard I guess she everything. did. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. Yep. And thank you. If it weren't for you... Yes, both of you would be dead, I know. But believe me, I still thought carefully before firing. About who to target? You know... I truly loved Ibn. But this man wasn't him. You felt it, didn't you? Maybe I even knew it. I don't know. But I still can't believe it. It won't be easy to process for any of us. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. And regarding Molly... The cops. But how? How do they know? I have no idea, Marty. Do not look at me. I did not call them. Olivia? Don't worry, Natasha. They won't lay a finger on you. I promise. Please, Sonny. You don't need to worry about me. I don't want to be rude, Sonny, but I'm more worried about us than her. Hello, boss. Hello, Shit. boys. Now, before you say anything, we can explain. No need for that, Santino. Monica already told me everything. Monica? Hey, boys. What were you thinking? That I would just let you get killed without saying goodbye? Thanks, <laughs> Mon. Should we say we uh, owe you one? You know already, boys. Shoes are my weakness. Hey, mine too. Of all that's furry, we don't want to hear that. And boys? Uh, yes, boss? Don't believe you'll get away with it so easily. I want to report on my desk from both of you with all the details. Hey. Am I clear? We did yes, it. sir. Thank you, sir. It'll all make sense, believe us. Right after I figure out myself what the hell just happened. <laughs> what Marty's trying to tell you is that we had good reason to investigate outside the law. Yeah, that's but what it was. We're sorry. What happened to you, Sonny? You're sorry? Did you hit your head? Why does everybody keep asking that? Why, indeed. So, can we go now, boss? Without getting handcuffed? Don't give me ideas, Santino. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Hey, and we're out of there. Farewell, my lovely. You fuckhead, get out of here. So, what now? Where to next? I think I should mourn, right? You should. But I don't know what to feel anymore, Sonny. I understand, Natasha. You know, if you need anything... Yes, I know where to find you. See you around, sweetheart. Hey. Ma'am. Goodbye, the Anyways, let's see. This plays like a visual novel. It is, that, it's, it is a visual novel. There's like two parts where I actually have to interact with the game and like shoot people. All right, Timothy, you fucking you seagull bastard. Here, Tim? Always where the trouble is. Sometimes I think you're the criminal mastermind behind all the dark dealings in this city. <laughs> I wish. I wish too, because then we could legally throw you in jail. 
<laughs> I love your sense of humor, Sonny. <laughs> I wasn't joking. So, where did you get the scoop? Are you kidding me? The whole city's talking about you. You've left quite the mess. We already behind. know this. That, Somewhat. I admit. Well, it's a miracle that all of the city smear sheet journalists aren't here already. Oh, while we're at it, will you give me an exclusive interview? Fuck no. Fuck off, Tim. Yeah. Hey. Shit, I hit the mic. Who else do I need to talk to? Monica. Thanks again, Mon. If not for you, those fur heads would have put holes in us. No wonder, since you put holes in there, boss. Well, actually, that wasn't us. Then who was it? Natasha. Really? Hmm. I wouldn't have thought it of her. It's a pleasant surprise. Pleasant? It was for us, too. What? Believe me. What? Are you waiting for me to change my mind? No. Uh, no, sir. Then stop pecking around here. Yes, sir. Okay. And what about you, Sonny? I'll go home and sleep. Maybe for three days. I'll try to forget. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. If there's anything I can do. A date? I'm not sorry, Natasha. It's better this way. We find out painful truths, but at least we see clearly now, don't we? Yes, I think you're right. All right. Thank you. Okay. We thank you, Natasha. You saved our lives. But it was also me who endangered you in the first place, right? That is well, right. I won't argue about that. Any more conversation? Thank you. Oh, no, but that's it. Well, it. I won't... What about you guys? Am I done talking to you guys? Just one quote, guys. God, fuck off. They say you've taken down the whole Wessler Empire. They say... I say you're full of shit, Tim. And you can quote me on that. <laughs> okay. Just one quote. Okay, say, so we're done with him. Monica, any more? How did you know we were here? I always pay attention, Sonny. And because I know you like you are my own nestlings. That's weird. No, I love it when you say pretty little things like that. Don't get used to it, Marty. Okay, is that it? So, uh, what's your <laughs> shoe Fuck. size again, <laughs> 35, Sonny. I like high heels. And because there's two of you, two pairs will do for a start. Woo! Anything for you, darling. I don't want just anything, Marty. I want shoes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. See you at the PD? At the PD, Mon. See you at the PD. Yep, at the okay, PD. that's it. All right, Blood Boil, the last thing. Santino, you're doing that on purpose? No, sir. Never, sir. Then get the fuck out of here. Let me leave, then. Santino. No, sir. Then get the... One, more, one last thing? Thank you. What we the fuck? Well, I won't argue. But just one quote. I say you're f oh, Is this fuck. a mansion? Okay. Or a grand palace? Or a small city? Well, if it comes to hide and seek, old Westler will have an advantage. A serious advantage. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect other people to be right there. Hey, Olivia. Marty. I just uh, wanted to thank you. For what exactly? For trying to save us. I didn't do it only for you, believe me. I loved my job while I had it. Now my employees. Huh. Yeah. I, I guess that was our fault, wasn't I it? You got fired. Didn't even think of that. You got let go. Of course you didn't. Can I do anything to help? I think I'll manage. I always do. You crow person. If there's anything at all. Thank you, Martin. There's no need for that. If there's Thank okay. you, Martin. We're done there. You're a good boy, Bosco. Nice work. Good boy, Bosco. You know, folks, somebody's gotta take care of the real police work while you're tearing up the city. Sorry for the mess, Bosco, but you know us. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do. 
How did you catch them? After the gunshot, I was sure these two would show up. They have a habit of doing that. They were already in cuffs before then, Sonny. We had the house surrounded. If you could have hung on, maybe nobody would have died. Hey, a second longer, and it would have been us. <laughs> That's your story. <laughs> it is. Fuck you sideways, Bosco. Any more Bosco? Nice catch, Bosco. You can mount them on your wall as trophies. Yeah, I wish I could, Sonny. Okay. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. We're honestly very sorry it had to end like this. Yeah, this peacefully. Che. Don't think we'll be behind bars for long chickens. Why are you speaking? Wrestler may be dead, but his Why are you speaking? Still won't crumble. Oh, look at that. He can He's talk. still going. In complex sentences, too. Yeah, or something like that. Amazing. I hope we'll meet again, gentlemen. So do I, Shakespeare. And uh, while you're sitting in your cell, you could teach your famous manners to your friend, too. Maybe I will, Mr. Featherland. I certainly hope so, pal. So long, guys. So long. Oh, is that it? Nice catch, boss. Yeah, I wish I... If there's... Any thank you, Mark. Okay, I think we're fully done. Fuck, we're not. But just I say you. Thank you. We thank you, Natasha. But it was well. I won't. Give me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Nostra saved her lives last minute. Once I had revealed everything. So there we go. That's it. But is it really over? Uh, is it? Is it not? Hard boiled. Am I missing something? Was there something else I think I had to do? Something in my bags? Bag of tricks? It's a piece of a painting. Judging by how well it was hidden, I'm. Okay. Come to daddy, darling. Ironic, but ever since I've been on. F okay. Can I leave? Santino. You'd know, sir. Then get the, the fuck. How do I leave? See you at the PD. At the PD. Let me leave. I mean, I I can't talk to fucking McCluckers, so. Oh shit, Filma! What the fuck? What are these people just doing here? You, what are you doing here? I was just driving around, you know, trying to feed your grandpa. So, was it a case? Were you, uh, maybe investigating us? What can I say, Sonny? Am I busted? Did someone hire you to follow us? I just had to keep an eye on you and not get involved. That's all. I admit there were a couple of crazy situations when it was hard not to. But you managed somehow, right? A professional's a professional, my friend. Yeah, thanks. So you won't tell us who hired you, whatever we do. Unfortunately, I can't, my friend. I made a promise. Is it her? Is it Molly? You and your promises. Some people still take them seriously. You're a real piece of guano. You know that? Fuck you. Of course. I've learned everything from you, you old fart. I think I have an idea who hired you, Phil. Hey, stop it right there. I don't want to know who you think. Oh, are you afraid your reaction would give you away? Huh, you wish, pal. That's it. Anyway, it's good to see you here, Hawkeye. I'm glad you made it out alive. It didn't take you much. Yeah, not much. Any I'm glad you made it. Yeah, not much. Okay. Must be some... Uh, no. Nope. Hmm. Don't believe the tales they tell about the war, Marty. And all that, too. Okay. We already heard all that. Are we finally... So here they Fuck, are, yes, we're finally done. The chicken police in the flesh. In the flesh! And drop it and cluck off. Oh, no, boys. This time, you deserve it. What the cluck did you say, boss? Stand up straight and try to look like someone who's glad to be alive. Hey. Uh, 
Yes, sir. We'll try. Ooh, attention, chicken police. Say cheese. <laughs> Chris, you got us go now. What the fuck, Sonny? Nice. Hey, the following animal species are not included in this game. Oh, what the fuck? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> just a fucking... It's just a ton of animals. Well, this was during the of the game. And all these species have been declared extinct. Oh, what the fuck? According to the lowest possible scientific estimations. Okay, uh, every year. As, whoa, what the fuck? What a random thing to slap in there about extinct animals. Jesus Christ. You gotta learn while learning. Are those the guys that made it? Oh, there's that music again. Yeah, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. That was dope. That was a good game. By the way. Ah, uh, fuck. I've already forgotten the development team. It'll, it'll say, but... I like to thank them because again, I got this game for free. Uh, you know, on Keymailer, you can request keys, and I got one. So, thanks to them. Woo! Oh, look, there's a kitty cat! Is that what they modeled Natasha off of? Was their cat? Oh, look, and that's the cover they were making fun of. Murder my sweet. Murder my tweet. Okay, cool. I like this. Alright, nice. I'm tired of being safe. still lying in my bed. So I wonder if they used like actual models to do everything prior. Like I see he's dressed up as Sunny, so. Hmm. All the corners are dead inside. Let's see, Carrie Shell. What else has he been in? That voice sounds so familiar. I would do. I would look it up on my computer, but uh, obviously it's gonna tab out, and that's not cool. Whoops! Can't spell. Carrie Shell. Oh God! He was in all the. He was in like all the Thomas the Tank things. What the hell? He played in the world of Gumball. Who do he play? Some random dude. Yeah, some random dude. Okay. Anything else? No, just all the freaking Thomas the Tank ones. What the hell? All right. For all our dreams and nightmares. What the hell? All right. So yeah, the Wild Gentleman Handy Games. Oh, I just was handy games as a THQ Newark division. It's huh. Dead. That's different. I didn't know that. Cool. That's one game down. That's a whole game we've streamed from complete to end. Oh, what the fuck? Really? You're going to do that to me? What the fuck? It's still go. Oh. Tasha, you were expecting me, weren't you? I wouldn't say that, but I'm not surprised. I just wanted to talk to you. About what exactly? You know very oh, well. Oh man. What do you think, Natasha? Why didn't she tell me? Because she loved you. Okay. Yeah. If it wasn't for you, she may have never left the place. Perhaps she'd still be there. Ah, sheep shit. We used to dream about falling in love with a nice man who comes and saves us someday. A knight in shining armor. You know, like, like in the fairy tales. And how did that work out for you? She fell in love with a good guy. I didn't. I envy her. I'm not that good guy, Natasha. But if it's any consolation, she could have found him. Maybe she's living with him right now. Somewhere on the other side of the world. Mm. Well, goodbye, Sonny. So long, sweetheart. Hey, Natasha, you have a light. I've been trying to smoke this sorry-ass cig all day. It's driving me crazy. 
Maybe you don't really need it. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Bye bye. Cat lady. You put the cigarette away. What the fuck? Who did that? Did I do that? Sonic, come on, man. Call me? What the fuck? 555223. Can, if, can I use that number right now? Whatever happens, happens. Whoa! Oh, continues marked out! Fuck! <laughs> Alright. What'd you say? Let's see. This story reminds me of Beastars, the anime. Well, not the story itself. Just the like, humanoid characters and serious storytelling. Yeah. I watched the anime. I didn't I didn't actually read the, the manga. I watched Beastars. Though. I think season two is coming up pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I could see what you're saying. That, like the grittiness and the an animorphness. Anna? Fuck. Words are hard. Anamorphicness of the characters. But yeah. So yeah, guys. We, we did it. Uh... We also did it in the time frame that I needed because I actually got to start making food uh, and stuff. So, yeah, uh, we'll be back at it Thursday. Uh, don't know what we'll be streaming yet. You know, Thursday and then Friday. So those are my those are my streaming days. So put it put it in the books. 515 every day. Or 515 Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Fridays. So, yeah. Anyways, have a great night. Man, love seeing you stream. Good night, good night. Good night, man. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, go for the transition. Bye-bye.